Hey, beautiful souls, beautiful sunshine here at the R Holistic Killer, aka Sonya B. So I am back with this quick prophetic message. I have three quick messages that I'm going to give to you guys. And I just want to say, basically, if you're new to my channel, I just want to say welcome. And for those of you who are returning back, I want to say welcome back. Okay, so basically the first message that I received was it came through in a form of a dream of somebody was just being generous. Somebody was being nice. But apparently somebody approached somebody to let them know, hey, you know, you left your lights on in a sense. And this person was warned by somebody else um, to don't say anything to her because she's basically nasty. Okay, she was nasty. She was rude. And the, the lady in the dream in a sense. But I'm just telling you what some of you guys are going to be finding yourself dealing with if you come off of being in that people pleasing um, mindset okay so yes this is what i'm hearing people pleasing okay so meaning like if somebody drops something oh you dropped that you know uh let me pick it up for you you know or oh you know you left something behind and this is not to say that god is turning us into being rude and you know so on and so on but god has a higher purpose that we don't always understand okay he's trying to get us thank you holy spirit hear the holy spirit say get us out of habits and doing things like we have always done it. As you guys know, in a previous prophetic message, um, in a dream, it was like as if somebody had left their wallet behind on the counter. And in a dream, I said, excuse me, um, letting somebody know who works at that particular place that somebody left their wallet behind. And God was just basically saying, no, just mind your business. If it's not yours, mind your business, okay? So anyway, in this dream, the lady went to go let the other lady know that her lights were on and the lady came out being nasty. She came out being rude. She actually, I saw that she, she gave me like Karen type energy. Okay. The moment she walked out the door, she was being rude and nasty, but then she saw somebody else that she had a few with. She went and chased after them while the other person was like, oh my God, I should have listened. They tried to slip away, but then she started chasing them in the end. It was just so much going on. So I'm just trying to tell you that these are the energies that some people are going to find themselves in if you don't find yourself minding your business, okay? Leave people alone at this time. If somebody dropped something, somebody left something, just mind your business, okay? That's all I can tell you is just mind your business. I know that's hard as hell for some people, including myself at once upon a time, okay? <laughs> Trust me and tell me because I was one of those people. Hey, you dropped something or hey, you know, you left blah, blah, blah. But, you know, God is just basically trying to reveal to us like, you know, even when I had to go through this process, God is just basically trying to allow us to get out of our own way because these are habits and patterns and things that we have been accustomed to doing since maybe i'm hearing like since our childhood in a sense and it's almost a form of people pleasing so this is god trying to get us to get out of our way so if you don't mind your business basically you're gonna find yourself dealing with someone pertaining to or similar of an energy of like a caring type person okay but anyway so this lady kept kind of just chasing this person all throughout the dream right they was just and then in the end all i heard was <laughs> in the end all i heard was saying puta put, puta of what bitch in spanish i think it was <laughs> anyway i think that's what it is anyway so nevertheless but this lady was not spanish should i say um but anyway so i just wanted to let you guys know that but uh or hispanic or whatever but anyway the next dream came in a form of some of you guys are gonna find yourself whew, some of you guys are gonna find yourself whether you were on the receiving end of this energy or whether you was the one giving off these energies okay the way i saw this was somebody who is kind of influential person in a sense um people kind of look up to this person in a sense but they kind of look up to them in a sense of they know that they need them in a sense okay they know as long as they hang around them that they too uh benefit in some sort of way okay but the way God had revealed this to me was it was like a gentleman who everybody kind of hung around with, right? They hung around him for whatever purpose or whatever reasons that they hung around him. And this gentleman just came off as a black person, okay? And I told you, I, I say it how I see it in my dream. So um, the gentleman came off as being a black person or whatever, and then he had all these people that were around him in a sense. So basically what was happening in this dream was how it was playing out was basically that male was having to speak up he i get the feeling like he is going to be divinely guided to speak up and it's almost like those people who have either one been riding his coattail or those people who have been basically um you know had been around this person in a sense where they were part of their his clique or their is what i just heard thank you holy spirit if they were part of like his clique his entourage his crew people he considered as being friends is almost like God was asking him to release them because in the dream it was as if it came through as if like 
um, he had he had to tell one of his so-called entourage you heard that right <laughs> he had to tell like one of his people who was in like his circle uh, hey man I can't take it to the championship this year and even though and that's just an example how God was giving it to me like I can't take you to the championships with me this year in a sense so it was as if they was trying to say okay like uh that's fine in a sense uh but nevertheless but because of this individual person they were able to kind of because of this individual person they were almost like they had a thank you holy spirit like they got to step up in a sense so they got to step up just because they were hanging around this person in a sense but basically again this person is being asked to release people and almost like for them to carry their own weight in a sense because also in that same dream <clears throat> what was happening was <clears throat> this yup i kind of got like it was it, it's weird because it was kind of switching scenes in a sense almost like a school type environment of some sort anyway but then nevertheless the the same gentleman who was being asked to release certain people he basically had just recently ran into a girlfriend of his not a girl i'm sorry apparently he had just recently um linked up or got into a relationship with a girl should i say and it's almost like instead of him spending time with the people that he would normally spend time with he and sit with the people that he normally sit with what i saw him doing was kind of going off and doing his own thing with him and his girlfriend if that makes sense so i say all that to say some of y'all about to be shift around in a sense in so many words some of you about to be shift around in a sense some of you about to come into some relationships and some of you are being asked to release some relationships in a sense because again these people can't go where it is that you're going in a sense and you're being asked to release certain people so that way that you can come into these connections that god has been attending to come together that were meant to connect in a sense okay and so instead of the gentleman sitting with his entourage, his crew, his circle, people within them, or since he decided to go off and he decided to sit, uh, as a matter of fact, I couldn't even see him anywhere within sight, but I do remember one of his little, uh, people who was in his little clique had came to him and said, well, Hey, well, we're going to be going here, here and there. If you want to come there later in a sense, but, um, he never really answered in a sense, but basically he was, because the way I saw it was he was more so entertaining his relationship, his new profound relationship that he was meant to uh, embrace. Okay. So some of you guys are going to find yourself experiencing that situation, whether you're on the receiving end, whether you were just the one who was benefiting off the other person, or whether you're the ones are, that are being divinely guided to speak up and release people. Okay. So there's two sets of people here. Okay. And then this other dream. So, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. So, if you previously felt like you had certain privileges, thank you. This is the moral of the story. If you if you felt like you had certain privileges and certain treatment because you was around this partic particular person who was like an influential person in some sort of way, um, it's almost like I was hearing the Holy Spirit saying, that that time is coming to an end. I'm sorry, I was trying to find my words. That time was coming to an end okay anyway so this last message came through was i saw like a hospital right and i don't know for some particular reason it's been like like some sort of mental type energies lately okay and i i feel like god is just ramping up energy in a sense like he's trying to get people to where it is that they need to go and sometimes people i'm hearing thank you holy spirit i'm hearing sometimes people will start to experience like mental depression in a sense like if you if you're uh what's the word if you're if you're it's almost like if you're counter doing the opposite rather than just kind of going with the flow in a sense so if you're someone who's just trying to hold on to something hold on tightly control something in a sense and you know navig uh uh dictate uh certain outcomes in a sense you may find yourself dealing with that type of energy but anyway nevertheless this one is going to be very important because like I said, I saw like hospitals, like something pertaining to a hospital. It was like as if I was inside of a hospital, but it was so busy. Like I could just see what was going on in the hospital and it was just really busy. Like it was something happening over here, something happening over there, something that's this, this, this and that. So I just really want you guys to know that please be mindful. And not only that, but um, 
please watch who you got in your, your, your vicinities and clear yourself. Clear, clean, cleanse yourself in a sense. And um, yeah, just, I mean, that's all I can tell you. That That's really all I can. And I just saw 1010 when I saw, saw that. Yeah, because I saw that these hospitals were like really busy. So if they weren't busy before, I kind of saw like it being a little busy. So if you don't want to be one of the people who was caught up in that place, uh, mind your business, uh, get your workout on, um, you know, and just go with the flow of the universe. Okay. And most importantly, get out in nature. Okay. So I'm going to end it there. Oh, but I do have this one scripture that was given to me this morning. Let me read it real quick. And it is Luke 12, 6 to 7, which is so funny. But I'm going to start up at one real quick, just so you can stand up, understand the moral of the story. It says, warning and encouragement, okay? And God is encouraging us at, during these times. Meanwhile, when a crowd of many thousands had gathered so that they were trampling on one another jesus began to speak first to his disciples saying be on your guards okay and this is me letting you know be on your guards um be on your guards against the yeast of the pharisees okay so you know the pharisees are people come being religious people come with their their bullshit as rules and you know and i and i'm not saying that rules aren't important but it's more so about integrity and i'm not talking about the old way of you know just conforming to rules so thank you holy spirit what i'm hearing the holy spirit say question everything don't just go with what somebody tell you and i give you a quick example one day last week, I had to go to the grocery store, right? I went in Wegmans. So this guy that I was in his line, he gave me like sorcerer type vibes, okay? And it was like, I was really on guard and, and really on guard. And I think he knew that in a sense, but just everything that he was doing, I just, you know, I just knew that he was just up to no good. So I say all that to say that when it came down to paying for my food, in a sense, it's almost like you know how you slip your card into the thingy and then it actually you for your pin number well i can see the word pin in english but the other word uh i guess the insert word was in I, I don't know why even i said spanish because i i couldn't even read it in a sense right so basically what happened was i said well this is in spanish and i guess it was just my intuition telling me that in a sense because i didn't even know what that looked like but anyway and i said well why is this reading you know spanish or whatever and he said oh just insert your card no he said well, it says insert card. I said, I don't know what that says. So in other words, he's telling me what it says. But if I don't, if I can't see what it says, and if I can't read it for myself, then it's like, I'm not sticking my card in there because it could be saying something else in a sense. And this is, and this is a classic example of how God just wants us to question everything. I know some people have been used to just kind of going along with what somebody tells them and God is trying to get you out of that mindset. And the reason why he says question everything is because people can tell you anything they want to tell you. And if they feel like they can tell you anything and you listen to that, hell, they can lead what I'm hearing the Holy Spirit say is like, energetically they can lead you right off of a cliff if you allow them to in a sense and this is the reason why it says question everything okay read read question question okay i know sometimes it may take you extra time out of your day and so on and so on but you know even if it's long contracts or whatever the case may be read okay anyway so I say all that to say, but I think he started getting a little irritated. And then I noticed that the people who worked there, they was kind of waiting for their little registers for the people to give them their cash boxes or whatever to go to their register. So they were just sitting there looking, you know, one older Caucasian lady kind of like, uh, she was kind of like laughing in a sense, like, I guess because I wasn't just going along with the, 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 the good old, you know, the good old way of doing things. And I was questioning, I said, well, I can't understand that. You know, not talking about her, but I, I was just observing at the same time, too. So he had to call the lady, the manager over there or shift lead or whatever. She had to come over there and do something to the system. And she said, well, try it again. I said, it's still saying the same thing. I see the word pin in English, but I can't understand what the other word says. So I'm not sticking my card in it in a sense. So nevertheless, the lady came over and then she was like, well, it says insert. I said, I'm not sticking my card in it. If I can't read what it says without you telling me, I'm not sticking my card in it. I said, you can close me out and you can ring me up over there on another register, but I'm not sticking my card in there if I cannot read what it says. Okay. That's just a classic example. Okay. I just wanted to give you all that, but that's what kind of happened to me last week in a sense. 
But anyway, it says, be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy, okay? So we all know they got these hidden agendas out there. People make things seem like an illusion. I'll give you another example. As today, I had to go to the school, in a sense, and pick up uh, pick up something from the school, in a sense. Well, they trying to ask parents to stay outside the building and wait for your kids. And I told my child, I said, I'm not standing outside. I'm going to go in there with you because I don't know what they have you signing in a sense. So therefore, I'm gonna go in there with you and make sure that I'm seeing what you're signing because they're, they are not my parents. They don't get to tell me what to do and nor do they get to tell me how to, you know, uh, uh, how can I say it, proceed on with their bullshit as rules in a sense, but I'm a parent. So therefore, I am allowed to see what it is that you have in my child to sign that you telling me or us to wait outside? No. But then when I go inside and I look at the paper, it did, didn't make any sense at all, y'all. So they having these kids to sign out these specific electronic devices, right? And on a form, they're basically don't it doesn't make sense at all so it requires a parent signature and then not only does it require a parent signature but it also requires the child signature then they have a box that you check stating basically i'm giving this to you and basically you know you should take care of it and um and, and basically you're assuming any responsibility for any damages and so on and so on don't you think that the common sense would do as parents especially if they're having your child to sign off on something you would want an adult there, right? So I basically told the lady, I said, well, you having these kids to write down their parents' name and check off the box saying that they're holding themselves responsible. But I'm looking, I never told her I was the parent. I didn't even give her that information. But I'm just standing there looking. And her first response to me was, um, yeah, I just do what they tell me to do. And, um, you know, if you... And she's like, I, I just I just do what they tell me to do. And oh, that's how they told me to do it. And I just do what they tell me to do. And, you know, I guess, you know, if you want to talk to them, you can, you know, talk to them about it in a sense. And I'm just looking like that right there is the problem. So nevertheless, there's an open opening on the paper that requires a parent's signature. But the point of the matter is, again, you having these kids to sign out something saying that they'd be responsible for. But then yet you hold and then you telling these kids to scan this barcode in a sense of uh well tell your parents to purchase this insurance because this 33 dollars a month is better than a couple of hundred dollars a month trying to say if something goes wrong with the laptop i was like first of all and i told my son i was like nobody asked you for your laptops you were the ones who decided you want to distribute it so therefore you know how are you going to have somebody else to to sign up for something that you chose to distribute, paper and pen was <clears throat> was so much easier and freer, okay? And not only that, but it didn't cost as much, okay? So now, you know, that they having these kids go to the laptops in a sense, it's almost like, oh, well, let me give you this. Oh, well, now purchase their insurance. Oh, now you're responsible for it. No, we didn't ask you for that. You gave it. So I'm, I personally am going to hold them responsible because they was the ones that chose to you know, distribute them out. Again, paper and pen does not cost that much, okay? Okay? Anyway, I, that was just my story for today. But anyway, so that was a classic example of me having to question everything. Anyway, well, why you should be. Anyway, it says, be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees, which are hypocrisy. There is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed, okay? or hidden that will not be made known. So God will make things known, okay? And I saw some parents who were sitting outside looking like they was itching, wanted to go into the school, but they chose to stay outside all because they wanted to listen to that one particular email. So this is let you know that people will have control over you if you allow them to. You are your child's parent. The school is not your parent, okay? So they're supposed to be there to help assist. I think people tend to forget about what's truly important and that is the kids rather than all these other things that they possibly and i'm this is not geared to all the administrative because i know there's some good out there but i'm talking about those people who go along to get along okay anyway uh what was that what you have said in the dark will be heard in the daylight okay and what you have whispered in in the ear <laughs> excuse me what you have whispered where am I at? What you have whispered in the in the ear in the inner room will be proclaimed from the rooftop. Okay, 
I tell you, my friends, I'm on four now. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body. And after that, and after that can do no more, okay? Um, but I will show you whom you should fear, okay? Fear, fear him who after, I'm sorry, fear him who after your body has been uh, killed, in a sense, has authority to throw throw you into hell in a sense yes i tell you fear him and talking about god fear god because he has all right to just throw you in eternal hell is what he's saying and it says yes i tell you fear him six says are not five sparrows sold for two pennies yet not one of them is forgotten not one of them are forgotten by god indeed the very hairs of your head are all numbered okay do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. And eight says, I tell you, whomever publicly acknowledges me before others, the son of man will also acknowledge, acknowledge before the angels of God. Okay. So the angels are going to uh, acknowledge us before God on our behalf. Okay. If we're not trying to suppress God, we're not trying to hide God. Oh, I don't know who God is. Or, you know, I don't know who, you know, in a sense. And then, um, 10 says, and everyone who speaks a word against the son of man will be forgiven. So we can speak all day long against, you know, the, the son of man, but this is the one person that you cannot speak against. Okay. Um, and it says, but anyone who blasphemes against the Holy spirit will not be forgiven. Okay. And then 11 says, when you are brought before synagogues, rulers, and authorities, do not worry about how you would defend yourselves or what you will say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you, will teach you and, and that time what you should say. Okay. And what just came to mind, thank you, Holy Spirit. What just came to mind is, I don't know if you guys know the, the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, I think it was when the king had ordered them to death to go into the fiery furnace and they put them in there and thinking that they was gonna, you know, disintegrate and, you know, be crisp and burnt to chars and so on and so on. But he realized that God was with them in a sense. So you guys can read that story on your own. But anyway, so I'm just gonna end it there. But that's what the Holy Spirit was just kind of giving me in mind of when the king, you know, was telling them not to worship basically God in a sense. Um, when the king was basically telling them not to worship God in a sense and, you know, ordered them all because of, again, somebody who has the mindset of a Pharisee, the, the, the mindset of being, you know, the whole hypocrisy and, you know, those type of, you know, the Pharisees and, you know, all of those type of, you know, being overly religious. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to end it there y'all, but I hope y'all have a beautiful day. I'm going to go ride the bike real quick with my son. And then come back and get some other stuff done. <laughs> so anyway, so I really, <coughs> excuse me, I really encourage you guys to get out in nature and build up your immune system before I'm here in October gets here. Uh, do so now, y'all. That's all I can say because all I saw was, like I said, I saw hospitals were just really busy. And, you know, if you don't, the last thing you want to do is carry your energy into there, okay? And allow that that specific entity to be attached to you in a sense, okay? Anyway, so I'm going to end it there. I wish you all much love, much light, and I say peace and blessings. Bye.